I am your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. I woke up to see the tragic story of a 32-year-old Nigerian girl from Uroboland that was beaten to death by her husband in Port Harcourt. And the husband called the brother of the girl to come and pick the sister that there was an emergency. When the brother got there, the woman was dead. This woman has children. One is 10, one is seven. I can't remember the age of the, the third child. If the woman is 32 and the first child is 10 years old, it's most probable that she met this man when she was 21 years old. She might have been naive at that time. And she married this man for 10 years now, at least 11 years. And this man has been constantly beating her, practicing domestic violence on her. You will say, why did she stay in the marriage? She must have stayed in the marriage for the following reasons. Number one, people think that divorce is the greatest sin. The Bible says that God hates divorce. True. But you see, God also hates murder. God hates you to die stupidly. God hates lying. God hates stealing. God hates backbiting. God says that even if you hate your neighbor, that is, you are a murderer. Now, most of the vows we recite in our churches are not directly quoted from the Bible until death do us part, for better, for worse, for sickness and in health. No, it's not written in the Bible like that. It's not written in the Bible like that. God hates divorce. But you see, God also hates violence against women. The Bible says you should treat women with tenderness as, uh, as the weaker vessels, so that our prayers be not hindered. God says in the book of Malachi chapter 3, he says that I have not answered your prayers because you are treating the wife of your youth with violence. I hate violent men. I hate men who abuse their wives. Your wife is not your object of practicing your, your craziness. So women stay in marriages where they are being traumatized because they are afraid of what church people will say, what family people will say, what lousy people will say. Uh, single mothers are frustrated. Who told you that? There are single mothers who are living well. Single mothers who are better than you. There's no single mother in the recent There's an irresponsible father that abandoned a woman. So, people stay in marriages because of what church will say. Osinachi was singing in a, in a church in Abuja, singing, worshipping, but she was passing through domestic violence until the husband beat her to death. And then people will start talking. R.O.I.P. May her soul rest in peace. Rest in which peace? Let them beat your daughter to death, then you know what you're talking about. So church people will quote scripture. But let me correct your brains. I'm a pastor, I'm an ordained clergyman, and I know the Bible. Marriage is ordained by God, celebrated in the church, but regulated by government. You have no right to touch another person without her permission. You have no right to traumatize another human being in the name of marriage. She is not your property. So people stay in marriages because of what others will say. Listen, if you are watching this video and you are undergoing trauma, beating, insults, maltreatment, leave that marriage. Go to court. What God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Yes, government is not man. Government is a representative of God and we should be subject to all governing authorities. A broken marriage is better than a dead person. Dead people don't marry. Dead people don't marry. All those who will have said rubbish are now going to be telling the, the father of the girl, sorry, the mother of the girl, sorry. The other reason 
people don't walk away from marriages is because of the children. Now, the three children are in police custody. The lazy man has run away. He will be caught. He will be sentenced to death. The children will be orphans. The children will suffer. If that woman were to be alive, she would have taken care of her children wherever she goes to. She's just 35. Even if she does not remarry, she has a better life to live. And so you see men think that they have possessed people's daughters. No, don't tolerate that. Don't accept that. Church, let's speak against this. We pastors must speak against this. Don't preach our women to death. Don't preach them into slavery. Don't preach them into abuse. They are people's children. You can't do that. And because some of us pastors are also violent, some of us are also abusive at home, we try to quote scriptures, submission, 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 submission. Submit to an idiot, nonsense. Submit to a violent man. And most men who beat their wives don't fight outside. They are lazy, frustrated, insecure men who think that they can vent their frustrations and their poverty and their hunger and their anger and their inadequacies on somebody's daughter. Let this video go viral. If you are undergoing domestic violence, divorce, go to court, go to the police. And there are women who, who, who traumatize their husbands. I went to preach in a place. The bishop sneaks to me at night around 3 a.m. Um, um, 1 a.m. He said, my wife beats me. And you can see the bishop nervous. The wife beats him. There are women who slap husbands. You can't do that. The best option where your life is threatened, where your life is in danger, where your dignity is being abused, where your rights are being abused, the best option is divorce. Dead people don't marry. There's something in life more than marriage. God bless you. Please share this video.